Coming up on Full Sail Live, Dodgers and Giants took the field this afternoon. Does the slump continue for Los Angeles? Full highlights up ahead. Plus, up 3-1, to one, the Capitals are looking to put the Knights away for their first Stanley Cup. For Las Vegas, it's now or never if they want to keep the series going. We get you ready for Game 5. And two of the GOATs return to their respective sports. We get you ready for Tiger and Serena's returns. Get ready. Full Sail Live is coming at you now. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Wollaston and welcome to Full Sail Live. We open with the big decision, the sequel. LeBron James is once again leaving Cleveland. The King is changing colors and heading west. After rallying the Cavs from a 3-1 deficit to win an NBA title, LeBron James will leave Cleveland again. It took a four-year, $153 million deal to lure James out west the longest he's signed since he inked a six-year deal with the Heat back in 2010. He becomes the first player to lead an NBA postseason in scoring and then switch teams the following offseason. The Lakers are still looking to find a counterpart to go with James. That could come in the form of Kawhi Leonard, who is looking to leave the Spurs this offseason. LeBron comes on to a Lakers team that has been somewhat adrift since Kobe retired. The task now for the Lakers is to go out and sign talent to surround their new centerpiece. LeBron James is not the only top free agent on the move. Kirk Cousins, the longtime holder of the Redskins franchise tag, is heading to Minnesota, and with it, he becomes a first in the NFL. Cousins will sign the first fully guaranteed contract for a quarterback as the Vikings signed him to a four-year, $84 million contract to become their new starting quarterback. Entering his seventh season, Cousins has ranked as one of the NFL's top 10 quarterbacks since 2015 placing third in completion percentage and in game-winning drives. Out in Washington, Capitals fans are in a good mood. The Caps are just one win away from their very first Stanley Cup as they lead the Las Vegas Golden Knights 3-1 in the series. Caps come into this game 9-3 on the road in the playoffs and 3-0 when they can end the series on the road. The Knights are 7-2 at home in the playoffs and have not lost more than three in a row there all season. Vegas is looking to eliminate missed opportunities after leading in shot attempts but trailing three zip in game four. The Caps are looking to stay aggressive defensively and keep creating chances off turnovers. It's been 15 months since we have seen a familiar red shirt on the golf course. Tiger Woods announced that he will be making his return to competitive golf. He admitted last month that he could definitely see a scenario where he doesn't return to competitive golf. He is set to play in this year's Hero World Challenge. While it's a non-PGA event, it's a significant step forward for a man who has been riddled with injuries and controversy the last few years. Tiger isn't the only one making a return. Serena Williams steps back onto the tennis court at Wimbledon. She had missed last year's tournament while preparing for the birth of her child. She pulled out of her fourth round match in Paris last month with a pectoral injury. Serena last won Wimbledon in 2016 and is a favorite to win despite being ranked 183rd in the world. It's safe to say that the LA Dodgers are officially in a slump. They've lost five of their last six and they are now pointing fingers at each other for a lack of hustle. Manager Dave Roberts called out Cody Bellinger for a lack of hustle while getting a double in the fifth inning. But a lack of hustle wasn't the only problem for the NL champions. Kenta Maeda is on the bump for the Dodgers, bottom first, and he takes a three-run blast from Evan Longoria to put the Giants up 3-0. Later in the bottom of the third, Brandon Belt sends one deep to right field for a double. That brings in Buster Posey. For the Dodgers, they were as lucky with the bats. Top fifth, Farmer line drive that winds up in a beautiful double play. Top six, runners on first and third. Grandel falls victim to the old two-seamer. Giants win at home, four to two. Coming up, it's buy or sell time. Mike Miller joins me to discuss the NCAA's response to legalized sports gambling and how this may lead to athletes being able to start earning money. Stick around for more Full Sell Live.